Good afternoon, everybody. This is Rachel Walker back with another short art lesson for you today. We're going to do one more project um, using the word symmetry as our main, main term for the project. We're going to do one more beautiful work of art uh, emphasizing that word, and then we're going to move on uh, to some new topics at the videos after this one. Today, you need pencil, your favorite brushes. Maybe you just have one brush, maybe you have multiple for different sizes. That's great. You need black orange, white paint, water, paper towel, as well as construction paper. You don't have to use yellow. You could use white if you don't have color paper. You can use orange, green, any kind of paper, you, any kind of color paper you want. Now, let's say you don't have paints at home, okay? Follow along the drawing steps with us, okay? And then once it's time for us to move on to painting, I will remind you how to do the symmetry transfer technique so you can just color in your tiger instead of painting it, okay? All right, so just bear with me. If you don't paint, it's okay. I will still show you a, a technique that you can use to make this beautiful. All right, first step. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. You're going to make your paper horizontal. I'm going to fold it. And open it back up again. Beautiful. All right, get your pencil ready. All right, I'm going to put my pencil on the fold. I'm gonna scoot down a little bit so that we, when we draw the tiger, we'll have room for his ear to come up a little bit over here. So, well, like I said, pencil on the fold, scoot down, okay? And imagine we're going to do a backwards letter C. So if you, I'm not gonna draw it yet, I'm just showing you. Backwards C, see that? Okay, we also, when we draw the C, we wanna remember we need a little room for the mouth down here too, okay? Backwards C. From there, at the bottom, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit into that backwards C and do another curve similar to a backwards letter C. Right underneath, I'm gonna do a curve that goes in and stops at the fold. Okay, now I'm ready to do an ear. I'm gonna put my pencil at the top of the backward C, go down the C a little bit, make a diagonal that goes to the corner. And then from there, a curve that stops at the C. Okay. Now, I'm going to do kind of just don't overthink this shape. I'm just doing kind of wobbly line for when we do the hair. Okay. And then from there, some curved lines for the stripes on the cheek. All right, pause it if you need a second to get caught up. I'm gonna keep moving, okay? So this is the cheek and this is the mouth. This is where the teeth would be right here coming out, okay? So from this cheek, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit, okay? This is where I'm gonna draw a triangle shape for the nose, okay? Got it? From the corner of this part of the triangle shape, I'm gonna go up and curve over. This is very important that this line is big, okay? From there, I'm gonna do the eye really big, okay? With a nice curve. Inside the eye, maybe you wanna do a circle. Maybe you wanna do a curved kind of lemon football shape like that. Okay. I'm gonna do a curve inside the ear. Last step some stripes on the nose. How easy was that, right? Okay, now I'm ready to paint. Now, we'll just pause it for a second, get your paints ready. If you are not, um, if you don't have paints, like I've showed you on the crawfish symmetry video, fold it back in half, take your pencil, and you're going to color really hard. Press, 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 color everywhere. I'm not doing it. 
obviously because I don't want it to transfer, but you're, you imagine you're doing it, you're pressing really hard, you color all of it. When you open it back up again, you should have the tiger face on the other side, so you have a full head, and then you can go from there with crayons, colors, markers, okay? But if you have paint, you're not doing that step, okay? All right, let's get started. I have my paintbrush, and I'm gonna start with white. You definitely want a paper towel, because every time we, um, every time we switch colors, we need to dry our brush. All right, white is first. This is not supposed to be a perfect painting. As you'll see, I'm gonna go quick because I'm not trying to make it look like a perfectly even, um, super neat tiger. This mo is more about having fun with painting and um, creating symmetry with your tiger. It's supposed to be loose, okay? All right, I'm gonna start in the ear. With the white. If you go outside the lines a little bit, is that okay? Absolutely. Now you don't want your paint to be thin. You want it to be thick. Now, do you want it to have tons and tons of paint on there? No, because then it will spread everywhere. All right. Now I'm going to do one more little step so that the ear doesn't dry and this eye doesn't dry. We're gonna, we're gonna fold a little bit at a time. All right, so that's my eye and my ear and I'm ready to fold. Fold over, rub, open. Beautiful. All right, I'm ready to move on. Let's say that you wanna put white in different areas than I do, that is definitely fine. This is your project, okay? All right, I'm gonna do the cheek. A little bit of the mouth. I'm ready to fold. Rub. Open. Beautiful. Let's say you folded it and it's it's very faded and there's not enough paint. That is okay. You just go back, add a little more of the color you need. Fold it, rub it, open it again. All right, we're moving on. Now I'm gonna go into the eye and I'm gonna go around. around the center where it's gonna be black. Awesome. Keep going, we're almost done with the white. Now I'm gonna be loose. This is fur, okay? This is hair, I mean. Hair coming off the bottom, around its head. Okay, so you see I'm doing hair brush strokes. These don't have to be perfect because we're just trying to make it look like hair. <clears throat> Maybe I want a little bit more there and right there. Okay. All right, here we go. Fold it. Open. <gasps> Love it. It's looking great. Okay, I'm moving on. Now, you're going to wash your brush, swirl it. No tapping, no craziness, no making messes for your brothers and sisters to get sad because you got mess on their messy splatters on their paper. Okay, rub it on the side, tap it on the paper towel so it's dry. Now we're switching to orange. Here. Like I said, we're not trying to make it perfect, okay? Let's do the ear and let's do the mouth and cheek area. All right, look, I got a little orange right there. Is that okay? Absolutely. It's just gonna make it even more interesting. All right, looks awesome. So look, I just, I needed a little bit more orange right there. So I'm gonna go back, add that orange. I need a little bit more right here. And then I'm gonna fold it again. Perfect. All right, more orange, here we go. 
Now you don't have to perfectly stay inside the lines in between your stripes, okay? And I'm gonna go out of the lines a little bit for the hair because we want it to overlap onto the white. All right, here we go. I love it. It's looking awesome. Need some more. Now don't consider this a mess up when you need more paint. Just consider it another opportunity to paint and have a good time, okay? Perfect, all right. A little bit more orange and then we're moving on to black. In between the stripes. All right. Awesome, now. My stripes got covered up by the orange. That is okay, all right? Put a little more orange right there. Because we're gonna, black is last. So anything that might've gotten accidentally covered up by black, that is okay. All right, washing my brush like we talked about, no craziness, swirling around, drying your brush off, okay? Black. You might wanna switch to a smaller brush for this step, okay? If you have it, you maybe wanna do that, okay? I'm gonna do the ear, Ear first. Or maybe the eye. All right, let's see if I need more paint. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. Remember, I'm being loose, okay? See, I'm kind of shaky with my brush. I'm not worried about it being perfect. That's what's fun about this one. Okay. to trace this cheek from the nose. I'm going to make a line that goes down and trace the cheek. And then trace this mouth. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Awesome. It's looking so good. there stripes you should still be able to see the pencil if you don't just go with it and add some stripes <gasps> amazing okay remember you want that hair texture on the outside okay more paint. I'm going to go back and touch up some of this. All right, what do you think? I'm loving it. Do you want to add whiskers? Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to keep it without whiskers. Okay, it's up to you. I liked it without whiskers, but I'm gonna show you with whiskers so you can see. 
What do you think, guys? I think it's looking awesome. So let me show you this example with my other one. So remember, it is fine that they look different. This one looks different than this tiger, okay? So if you do multiple, they're not supposed to all look the same. If you're doing this with your sister or brother next to you and their tiger looks different, is that okay? Absolutely, because we're all different, unique artists that make our own unique looking creations. So I really hope you enjoyed this tiger symmetry lesson, okay? I hope you have a great rest of the afternoon. Make the most of your time. Happy drawing.